Good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, today's video, I'm going to do a quick update for gold uh, and silver and crude oil. Uh, I did a, an update on crude oil where we were expecting uh, that the, the 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 pattern is complete and we're going to discuss that. Uh, how is it looking? So in today's video, first we're going to look into gold and then silver and then we look at crude oil. Uh, one by one, it's going to be a short video, it's not going to be a lengthy video. Here we have, uh, so uh, right now, um, and it seems that we our analysis in, in gold is right, is only the, the accumulation pattern is taking more time right over here too. So this choppy pattern last three days is giving me indication that our analysis of uh, thinking that there is a possibility we have completed a, um, a truncation, or a five -fifth, truncated fifth wave uh, seems right, but that needs to be confirmed. Uh, because it has taken three days and we have not seen prices to go sharply down uh, so we need uh, we need first and second confirmation first confirmation that is prices needs to go beyond that point right over here that will give us a confirmation that this correction is complete and then the price needs to go beyond that that will give us a confirmation that we are not looking into w x and y so we need to see through two things but things are heading that way uh, the way we were thinking that things are looking to be it seems that gold has already created a bottom somewhere over here and is heading up right now uh, we can c clearly see uh, that we can call this pattern as an impulsive wave and a corrective wave and an impulsive wave and a corrective wave this probably is a, a double zigzag pattern that you can see and we can all clearly see a flat pattern it's a very very choppy pattern I'm not expecting for the prices to go down all the way I'm expecting that uh, tomorrow uh, which is 22nd of the June is expected to be a bullish day for uh, for gold. I won't be surprised if tomorrow uh, prices can actually push uh, all the way from the top as well. So I won't be surprised if prices can sh uh, push tomorrow uh, and the day after tomorrow we can see some uh, price negative action in the opposite side. So I'm expecting for tomorrow to be a bullish day. Let's see how things happen in gold. Uh, if you want to see a deeper correction, uh, I mean uh, a complete uh, analysis, you can definitely look good into my analysis uh, which I did on weekend. So silver also seems don't go worry about properly sim uh, price coming down right over here too. Reason because uh, since gold was completing a correction, silver is also going from a, a similar behavior. Only thing is that we have now one impulsive wave instead of two. So impulsive wave and this hole is a correction. So we have correction price is going up another correction this is all very very good news uh, for uh, for silver uh, it giving us an indication that it seems right in our analysis that we have probably completed a bottom for silver and we seems to be right in our analysis that silver has created a truncated wave right over here too uh, but once again we need to first of all confirm that this correction uh, is complete and then for that price needs to go beyond that and we also need to confirm that this is not going to be turned into W, X and Y. For that we need to con get a confirmation that price actually goes beyond that. Once prices goes beyond that, uh, we will get a confirmation. But right now things are moving in uh, in the direction of our analysis. We are bullish on gold and silver and things are moving in that direction. I wanted to uh, put things in perspective. Now, uh, I would gave an analysis on crude oil. Uh, the pattern seems very very beautiful we did complete a pattern which is a, a B and a C pattern which is wave C is a wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 and a 5 structure so it's a clearly a B and C uh, structure which is a, a wave A is a is a is a impulsive part of the one and then wave C is a clearly divisible so we can clearly call it as a um, as a zigzag now the way th the prices are acting uh, because I was expecting for the prices to sharply follow down like that we have seen if we are not looking into that it means that there's a good possibility that we have to start looking into other thing and the other thing is that there is a solid possibility that we have not completed the correction yet this one so we will consider what do we have when we have wave A as a zigzag completion and we, we have come quite a bit down so this is giving me an indication there is a good possibility that we can actually do something like this uh, to complete a flat correction. So a zigzag correction followed by a flat correction uh, and followed by a 5 wave structure uh, something like that. 
that will take the prices upward in that regard uh, so in that case this is giving us an indication that we have to start looking in the previous pattern a little different that will give us an indication that we are probably looking at a peak right over here this hole is going to be a 5 structure bottom right over here too and this price movement is going to crack to the whole price movement uh, right from the top over here in that case <coughs> give me an indication uh, in that case we can uh, call it a smaller wave 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and this is how I know it seems kind of weird we are seeing uh, you know what's the leading diagonal but it does happen from time to time so this is my reading of um, crude oil and I wanted to uh, give uh, an update because uh, uh, I think a couple of people are trading it so I wanted to put my analysis uh, so you can actually see it so we are this is what I'm looking right now wave it's a is itself is a complete pattern wave B is going to be a complete pattern something sort of a flat correction and wave C is expected to be a five wave structure um, this is some kind of wild uh, speculation you can see but uh, you know I could not find that this is not in if price can actually sharply shoot down then that would be indication that our analysis is wrong and then we'll go with that but the chance of that happening seems less now uh, reason is because we have clearly seen an impulsive and there is kind of move and an impulsive so I'm considering this as an A, B and SME, a C within the A of a flat correction and three wave structure upward and a five wave structure downward that would complete and then we have a five wave structure uh, going upward so this is what I'm thinking um, and once again what is going to prove me wrong uh, is a strong price movement beyond this one 106 one such that price stays in that region if price bounces back upward that will be indication that we have uh, we are still in doing that same pattern so price has to follow through that and stay below it this is an important area for 107 106 uh, wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye